Hey guys, welcome to the Life of Volt. Um, as you read by the title, this is a video on how my puppy survived parvovirus. It's something we've been dealing with these past few days actually. And um, I decided I wanted to do a video just to show um, my methods. There's Bull. To show my methods of how he survived the parvovirus at home. I did not have the money to leave him at the hospital, so I brought him home and did the treatment. Okay. Um, as you can see, he's up and moving already. He's doing better. He's on day eight of the virus, which he pretty much has the full chance of survival. But I just wanted to do um, a video on what medications I was given, um, what stuff I bought on my own for him, and just anything on that route. Before I start this video, I do want to say that, one, I am not a vet, and you should not use this video as a diagnosis for your puppy. I will put the symptoms right here in front of me. If your puppy is having any of these symptoms, make sure you take them to the vet immediately for a proper diagnosis. This video is just for informational purposes, not to diagnose or any of that. Two, if you really like this video and want to see more of Bolt's life, make sure you subscribe to join his journey on this adventure in the world. This is unfortunately our first video and it's not a video I wanted to do, but here we are. So let's get started. So when you first suspect that your puppy has parvo, take him to the vet immediately. He, he or she can pretty much die within the first three days of having the virus, so it's really serious in puppies. Specifically, if you have an older dog, I know um, it's not as serious, but it's still pretty serious. Um, so I took my puppy to the vet and they gave me several things. Um, I'll show you guys a list of prices and all of that. So this was everything that they gave me. So the first thing they'll give you for at-home treatment is um, an IV so that you can put inside your dogs or dog, just one dog if you have one. This is key. I mean, I don't think Bolt would have survived without this, which is why it's important for you to go to the vet because they're the ones that can give you this. I don't know if you can buy it from Amazon or any other place. I got it from my vet. It's, that's the brand and what it looks like. As you can see, Bolt didn't use all of it. And that's because Bolt, when Bolt was diagnosed, he wasn't as severe. So the virus wasn't as bad as other dogs, I guess you can say. With the IV, I'm about to show you a picture of what it should look like once you put it in. You put a, pull their neck where there's extra skin and stick it in. Here's a picture of Bolt when we did it for him. I'm sorry it's a little bit too much. If you don't like that kind of stuff, make sure you skip over this part because, yeah. I was also given amoxicillin. It's for, I believe for diarrhea. Um, so these medications are key to stop your dog from vomiting, having diarrhea, because that's one of the major symptoms and that's that. They also gave me um, this medicine called Serena. Unfortunately, Bolt has ate the package of it. He tore it up into pieces when he got into it. Um, there was no medication inside, so yeah. But I'll put everything that I mentioned here in the description, so make sure you check that out. Now I'm gonna show you guys about how much it was for me to go to the vet. It could be more or less depending on who your vet is, if you go to the emergency vet, but this was just kind of like how much mine was. So here it is, um, you can see everything that they charged me for, um, and the totals down here. So it was $373 for everything. So if you don't have the money for that, I recommend um, asking 
family members, uh, parents, any of that, just to help you out. Do the laundry, do some chores around the house. If you're like my age, I'm really young, so um, I don't have a, like those resources. So um, being able to ask parents and stuff uh, to help out is a really helpful tool. I would also recommend talking to your vet because I was not able to pay for all of it and they were willing to give me a few days um, until I was able to get a paycheck to pay them back which was very nice on their part and they can work things out, especially if you've been going to the vet with them for a while. So now I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the things I did at home for Bolt that I pretty much just read online and yeah. So the first one is Pedialyte. This is really, really key. Um, Bolt didn't finish his, as you can tell. But if you have a puppy that is in critical condition, I recommend that you get a bunch of these because you're going to have to be giving them this Pedialyte at least 10 milliliters an hour. I mean, it's a lot. You can get this at Walmart for like five bucks. But this really, really, really helped his overall um, energy. He you can tell that he wanted to fight this virus. It just helped him so much with just having that energy to even get up. Obviously, if your dog has parvo, he's not gonna wanna eat or drink. That's one of the symptoms because of the nausea and diarrhea. I recommend getting a, this one's a smaller syringe, but you can get bigger ones at Walmart or anywhere else. This is just, a pack that I had ordered for my guinea pigs to give them vitamin C that I had left over. So um, I have a bunch of these just like left over. You're gonna have to force them. Sorry to say it, but you're gonna have to. So you're just gonna have to, let me see if he'll let me show. Um, just open his mouth like this and just squirt it in because you're just gonna have to force him because he won't wanna drink it. If he won't, if, it's the case where he like throws up after like right after you put it in you're gonna have to talk to your vet about um putting more fluids in his iv or even putting his food in his iv i don't know how they do that but um that's an option oh he's actually cuddling me he's at that age where he doesn't like me but he's cuddling me right now so i'm enjoying it Another thing that I did buy but Bolt did not use, um, however, I heard it's very um, important to get it if your dog is in like a severe case, is by Bactra. Um, I'll put it in the description. I don't know where my bottle went. It's pretty pricey. It's about $30, um, which was pricey for me, but it's definitely worth it. It helps with their immune system and having that to help their immune system is just gonna help fight the virus. So it's something that I would um, consider buying now if you haven't already. Um, Amazon has the one day shipping. That's how I got it. It's like I said, they could die. Your puppy could die within three days, which is the sad reality and you're gonna need it as soon as possible. So that's pretty much everything that I used. I know other people have used a lot more stuff. Um, like I said, Bolt wasn't in the very severe stages of the virus, so we caught it early and didn't need as much stuff and he did recover so fast. I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, make sure you subscribe to see Bolt's little journey taking on life now that he has survived this horrible virus and we hope you choose to subscribe so we're going to be posting more videos of his life and yeah um good luck with your puppies i hope they all survive feel free to comment down below i'm going to be commenting um more information as you guys have questions because i know i can tend to forget stuff so yeah, just comment down below and I'll be sure to answer your questions as soon as possible. And yeah, so we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.